all dogs lick, whether it's to groom themselves or to show affection to us humans or to other animals. And while it can be a normal behavior, sometimes excessive licking can actually be a sign that there's something wrong. There's about 11 different reasons why dogs lick. And we can actually break that down further by separating it into behavioral reasons and medical reasons. So today we're gonna to go over all the reasons why dogs lick, what you need to be looking for, and how to tell is this licking okay normal dog behavior or is it a cry for help? So first let's talk about the behavioral reasons why dogs might do excessive licking. Boredom or anxiety. So when a dog is anxious or just bored, one of the things they will often do is start licking themselves. When a dog starts licking themselves, it releases hormones like dopamine and endorphins, and it helps the dog to feel better. If we wanna put this into the human perspective, it'd be kind of like somebody who's nervous sitting there kind of twirling their hair. If you notice the excessive licking tends to happen a lot when the dog is alone, maybe when you go out for work, and then you come back and you notice your dog's paws are all wet, it could be a sign of separation anxiety. When we have a dog with separation anxiety, we have to address the underlying fear and get the dog comfortable with being alone. As far as boredom goes, that's a very easy fix, we just make sure the dog's not bored. Leave them with lots of puzzle toys to use when we're not around. Showing affection. So when a dog starts licking you or licking another animal, or maybe they have their favorite toy that you see them licking. Licking in dog world is a way that dogs show affection and show that they care for something. So when puppies are first born and they're with their mother, one of the ways that mother dogs keep the puppies calm and keep them soothed is actually by licking them. And puppies remember this, and they will then use that as an adult dog to either lick us, to lick their other dog they live with, other animals and they remember that this is a way to show affection. Asking for attention or just trying to say hello. The primary way that dogs communicate is through body language and licking is a big one. It's pretty common to have a dog that will demand bark, they'll bark at the owner to try to get attention, but there is such a thing as demand licking where instead of barking it's a silent way to get attention. They'll just lick and lick and lick and lick and it's their way of kind of saying hey look at me, give me attention. The time this happens is the most important. For example if you notice your dog tends to lick a lot when you first come home from your day, from your work, whatever you were doing and that that's the time that they're licking the most, they're just trying to say hello. Compulsion licking. The same way us humans can kind of develop OCD around certain behaviors, dogs can as well. The more times a dog does something, the more likely that behavior is gonna turn into a routine or into a habit. And sometimes those habits are not great ones. It depends what the dog is licking, whether or not you need to be super concerned, but if they're obsessively just licking their body out of habit and causing things like hot spots or causing raw, raw spots because the hair is all gone, that's a time we have to intervene. Something tastes good. Now when we spill a little bit of food on the floor and the dog goes over and starts licking, pretty obvious, right? Food tastes good, the dog wants to lick it up. But sometimes the excessive licking is because something on our bodies tastes good to the dog. We have to be really cautious here because if you use things like moisturizers or hand creams, different kinds of soaps, and that's on our skin, right? The dog starts licking that. And whatever chemicals are in those products, that then goes into the dog's body. Anytime that your dog is licking your body, be very cautious that whatever is on your body is not gonna make them sick. Hunger. One of the ways that puppies show their mother when they're hungry and when they're ready to eat is the puppies actually lick the mother's lips. You've probably seen this behavior whenever you go to feed your dog or you give them a treat, they're staring at you very intensely and they're licking their lips waiting for that food to go down. In that case, the licking, totally normal. By the way guys, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button help me get to 100K. Now let's talk about medical reasons why dogs might lick. Allergies. And there's so many different things dogs can be allergic to. For example, airborne allergens, things like pollen or mold in the air, or things like food. The same way as humans can develop food allergies, dogs can as well. And it's especially common with kind of lower quality dog foods that there's certain ingredients that dogs will develop allergies to. Besides the airborne allergens and the food, dogs can also develop allergies to other animals, fleas, or even cats. Now, a really cool thing that we have is actually allergy testing for dogs. You can talk to your vet. The vet can actually do an allergy test for your dog and give you a list of every single thing your dog is allergic to. So that way, you know what to avoid. Skin conditions. So certain skin conditions in dogs can be linked to immune response related diseases or other underlying illnesses that affect the entire body like endocrine disorders. One of the main symptoms then is itchy skin, and that itchy skin leads to licking, and that licking leads to hot spots. Hot spots are basically just areas of dermatitis or infected skin that the dog just can't leave alone. They constantly lick it, and it just never can heal. Luckily, there's good treatments for hot spots. Usually, they just have to shave the area so that way more air can get in, it can dry up, there's ointments and medicine, but we have to actually think about what was the underlying cause 
that made that hot spot occur in the first place. The best thing to do is to go to the vet. That way they can do a full examination. Usually you have to do some blood work, but this way we can figure out what the underlying cause is and treat that. Infections. Infections from bacteria or fungus or parasites, all of those things can cause excessive itching. And that excessive itching then leads to excessive licking. This is the time where we just gotta bring the dog to the vet because they need to be able to examine the dog and do some tests to figure out what the issue is. Usually this involves things like skin scrapes and fluid samples of the skin to see if there's any kind of microscopic evidence of yeast or mites. Fleas and ticks are also a huge problem. Whenever I think of a dog with fleas, my natural response is, oh, the dog's scratching when they have fleas, but they can lick just as much. Underlying pain. The way us humans might rub our shoulder when it's sore or hurting, it's the same thing dogs do, but with licking. That licking releases endorphins, which is the body's natural painkiller. So the dog's doing that because they're trying to feel better. Licking for pain can be from mild to severe. Maybe the dog just stepped on something and so they're licking their paw, or worst case scenario, they're licking their leg, they're licking their paw, because it's something super bad like bone cancer or arthritis. Pay attention to where the dog is licking. If it's always constantly the same spot, that same toe, that same elbow, that same whatever, ankle, we have to be really cautious. And again, we go to the vet, have that specific area looked at. GI or stomach issues. If a dog is suffering from things like nausea, acid reflex, upset stomach, oftentimes you'll see them licking. It's actually the most common medical reason after skin problems or allergies have been ruled out. A study published in the Journal of Veterinary Behavior actually suggests that up to 60% of dogs with excessive licking behaviors actually suffer from a gastrointestinal disorder. To relieve that GI pain, you might see a dog excessively licking kind of weird objects, weird surfaces, sometimes just licking the air. And another sign you'll see is excessive swallowing. Occasionally, the dog will actually be licking their stomach because they know that area is painful and they're trying to make it feel better. So the number one rule when it comes to a dog that's doing excessive licking. First, we gotta rule out, is there a medical issue going on? Because if there is a medical reason that's causing the excessive licking, no amount of training or behavior modification is gonna help the dog. We have to fix the medical issue first. That means a trip to the vet and some diagnostic tests. You gotta be prepared to do blood tests, maybe skin samples. The allergen test is really, really, really useful as well. Once all of that is ruled out, then we treat this simply as behavioral issues. I know that excessive licking can sometimes be frustrating or annoying, but it's really important we don't get mad and you never punish your dog for excessive licking. If we've ruled out there's no medical issues going on, here are some things we can try to change the dog's behavior. First, always be ready to redirect the dog to do something other than licking. If they're licking you, have a toy nearby or have something you can use to get the dog more interested in rather than licking you. If your dog is licking out of boredom, Get those puzzle toys, keep them filled up. And anytime you're gonna leave the dog alone, we give them that puzzle toy. It's a very clear way to communicate to the dog, hey, dog, when I'm gone, this is what I want you to do. Not spend the next five hours licking your feet. And lastly, the biggest one is exercise your dog. Most dogs are so under exercised. There's dogs that don't even get daily walks. You've got to get that exercise in for your dog. It's so important for helping them be happy and preventing kind of compulsive behaviors like excessive licking. So remember, rule out if there's a medical issue going on. And if there is, treat it simply as a behavioral issue.